Uh, hi, this is Isaac Hickerson, Data Manager for Region 1. Uh, today's video, I want to go over with you the updates and kind of the new interface, new look to the LAN tab. Uh, and just keep in mind, this is going to be just a general overview of everything in LAN and how it looks now. Uh, there's other videos that you can watch that go more into depth on uh, editing a client farm name, which is a new feature. Adding boundaries, drawing boundaries, editing guidance lines, things like that. Again, this is just a, a quick overview of, of how it looks now and, and what's a little different with it. So we'll go to setup and land. And once that loads up, we'll start talking about uh, some of those new features and new looks here. Alright, so I start off with my client and farms list. And you'll see now that uh, for the client, I have a little silhouette of a, of a man here. I've got a barn for my farm. And then if I had an active boundary for this field, it would be showing here. Um, so you look down through the list at the bottom. It's going to tell us the total number of clients, farms, and fields that we have, as well as acres. Um, I can click through here. If, I, if there's a particular client or farm or field I'm looking for, I can search for it. Or I can click each individual icon here scroll down through or again search that same with farm same with field I can also view fields that I have archived in the past um, if there was a field that I don't know I quit farming for a couple years but now I've got it back um, I could take it out of this archive list once it loads up here so if I click on this one right here I can make that available if I'd like I'm going to X back out of that for now go back to my, my active fields here I could filter it down, I could look at um, things with no boundaries, things with no work attached to them, I could look at um, certain guidance lines, just straight tracks if I wanted to, but lots of filter options there to narrow it down. I now have a table view available, instead of just looking at in a map view right here, I can go to a table view and see, alright, with this client with the dashed lines here, I have six farms associated with it, four fields, I know how many boundaries, guidance lines, and flags that I have associated with it and, and when my last work uh, was performed on that field. And again, the totals will show up down here at the bottom. I'm going to toggle back to map view here. Um, so then when I, if I click on my fields table here, I'm going to just see my fields list. And if I want to edit one of those, I can click on it, change the name, uh, see if it has an active boundary or not, switch that. I'm going to go back to land here, come across the boundaries. Again, show me all my active boundaries. If I want to make an edit to one of those, I click on it. And that takes me to the page where I could edit that. I could click the boundary here, make changes to it the way it looks, switch it from active to inactive, irrigated or non, go to my individual shapes and, and make changes to those. Now, if I keep clicking across here, guidance and flags, it's only the things associated to this field number two that I have selected. To go back and look at all of them, I go back and click land. And then I can go look at all my guidance lines I have in my system. Again, same thing as for fields and boundaries. I click on one of these. I can change the track name. I can make edits to the tracks. I can switch my point A, my point B, or my heading. And once I make those changes, I would save them. I'll discard those changes because I don't want those to save. And I could also look at my flags. And if I click on that, I could edit it. Um, up here across the top, I can add a new client farm field or boundary or flag or guidance line. I can archive stuff that I want to get rid of. I can make copies of things and then I can also export that out um, if I wanted to do that. We're gonna see, you're gonna notice tools over here on the on the right hand side, zoom to extent, uh, zoom in, zoom out, toggle between map and satellite. I have a measurement tool here if I wanted to measure something. Uh, you'll also see when you're creating a boundary, that's where you're going to see uh, the draw polygon tool and other tools like that will become available. But uh, again, they've made some changes and some updates to the way land looks. And I just wanted to go through that with you here in today's video. So hope this is helpful. If you have anything or need anything, please feel free to reach out to us.